we made you. Direction CYOP, choose your own path. Direction, choose your own path. Don't just wear anything. Wear garments that mean something. Stay alert and remember, choose your own path. This deep point. Anybody else got something on this? How can we break? Because Rose said why, so it's compounded. That was a great point. But now, like, goddamn, how do we break the stigma? And that's I have a question on the question. So, how do we solve the lack of accountability stigma on women? I don't know if you can resolve or solve a stigma. People are going to think what they think, but we can just be more accountable as women, as a, as a human race, first of all. It's not just a woman problem, it's a human race problem. But nevertheless, I'll answer the question. Um, you know, as we get older, more emotionally um, mature, emotional intelligence, as that, you know, rises and we go through the maturation process, that's how... As, as Rose said, we have more, we're more accountable because we've learned adult relationships. We want to mature them. Solving the stigma, I, I, that's the part that's throwing me. How do you solve a stigma? You you don't. Well, I was trying to be diplomatic and asking a question, right? The right so, way. How do you really want to do it. Huh? Well, no, because I'm not, so I'm trying not to say straight up. You guys are unaccountable, oh, but I'm, I'm tapping into this. Go ahead. I didn't say anything. You did. Go ahead. But what are we not accountable for? Like we're all living mostly productive lives here. What are we unaccountable for? That's, that's the, that's the missing piece of this. Damn. I, guess I, I, I feel, what are we unaccountable for? No, I got that. I guess we should have, I should have just probably, I got to select the panel next time. That's totally fine. <laughs> I don't give a damn. I'm just saying, what are we unaccountable no, that's, that, for? That's fair. I, um, yeah. But I just, yeah, you, you're right. I mean, look, if, if these things are not true, then they're not true. I'm just not seeing very good results from our people. But yeah, I, I mean, what I'm trying to pinpoint is what, it, well, even what is society saying? Because I'm not on all these social medias and all that. What is society saying? We're not being, we're not uh, being accountable for. Like, like, like the men are the reason for our relationships and the divorces and all this other shit. The men are the issue for our community being a, a matriarchy and not a patriarchy. And I'm not saying this stuff is untrue, um, but it's always a pointed finger. Um, even in the sign conversation, um, just, you know, 20 minutes ago, like it felt like to me just listening or being a part of it, even that it's because of what was happening to us, not our conduct. That's a lack of accountability. What can you do? You can always do something different in any situation. But if we keep on trying to say, oh, what what does it look like what is this i'm tired because of such and such then there is no accountability because it's on somebody else or something else as it relates to the podcast do you want us to be quiet do you want us to not respond do you want us to make sure it's in a tone that feels good to certain people because other people don't mind so what do you, i mean we can't please everyone but you want us to respond for content everybody can't sit up there like tay and not say nothing i don't know or or not really show no emotion i don't even know what that is so with that said i'm just saying what do you want us to do but that what do men want us to do with them that we do them we don't that's how well, that's yeah, how I said, it like i said if your if your look your outlook is like nothing can change and you damn if you do damn if you don't that's what i'm saying if you're not open to it 
if we can't get better if that's how you see it then i'm saying it's pointless to have the conversation camp what are some what are some suggestions that men feel that we don't hold or we're not we don't hold ourselves accountable to well i dropped the link because i want to get some other brothers in here if possible um so give it a second row if not i'll do my best to try to answer uh miss nay i know you came off the mic if i'm not mistaken oh no it's all right I didn't really have much. I was gonna just say something to, to back up. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You good? No, go it's, ahead. Also, it's all right. It was it was nothing. She said it basically. It's all right. What well, what was it? Just so I understand the point. Um, I don't even remember now. That's all right because <laughs> I just let it go. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I let it go. Well, I, so I, right. Can I just say, um, in terms of answering the question, how we can solve this lack of accountability? Um, I would say healing for one. I don't think we talk about it enough. Um, and that's something I push as a self-love ambassador. You have to start with yourself. A lot of the accountability or lack of comes from regret or reflection of something that we thought about. Oh, no, let me go back. For, for instance, my parents, I got a lot of apologies as an adult. So I didn't get apologized to as a child. But as an adult, I can talk to my parents and they, oh, I, I should have did this. I should have did that. Hey, don't. I'm good. Don't worry about that. So my thing is. You have to you have to leave the nest, right? So at some point it's not up to them. I can't I can't blame the fact that my daddy wasn't there. I can't blame that on me not being able to look at a man and let him leave because I have other positive male figures in my life. So what I what to me, that's what I'm getting out of the the stigma. Just heal. Heal if you got if you got daddy issues, heal from those. If you don't know how to actively listen or not be affected, have your internal peace affected by external factors, then figure out how to do that for you. That's I me. Mean, that's, that's my two yeah, I think that's solid. Um, I, I, I tell you, that kind of was something I was thinking of as Ro kind of asked, not that well articulated, but like trauma responses, we justify a lot of shit with trauma. And we always say it's our trauma that caused it. And then we have trauma responses and it's okay because I have PTSD for certain things. Trauma responses are, are not acceptable. I did you say have, it earlier, Hamp, but I also said, but we need to heal. Because so I said, I think it's both of both of us that do that. It's a trauma response that we act that way. But it's mm -hmm. the fact that we need to heal. So to your point, say yes, it's just inner reflection. Get your yep. life coach, therapy, yeah, all of that. Yeah, you said that. You said that. And I'm just saying we got to stop, stop escape going with that, I feel. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like Tay said, and you said, Nay, and then you said it before, it, it take time, some more than others. Mm -hmm. But you certainly got to deal. But it can't continue to be used as, oh, I'm not accountable for my action. Mm -hmm. Let me read a couple of super chats real quick. Perfect wisdom with the $10 super chat. Why are black men whining about black women? Stop being simps. Comments included. Wow. wow, wow, wow. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess you're right. Like, we should stop talking again, black men. <laughs> because when you're having a conversation and a dialogue, you can't you can't voice your concerns. Um, hey, uh, Perfect wisdom, why don't you hit the link on Wednesday? <laughs> Kevin C with the five dollar super chat. DJ Hamp, good point. Men must accept their part in relationships/slash community failure. Do women accept their part in these failures or only blame men? 